Hi guys, hope you're well. Uh, this is Stuart here from Immersive Cinema Rooms. Um, just wanted to do a brief video for the general public and also for any of my clients out there. Um, if there are any issues when you are using IP control on your SkyQ box. Now, when you're incorporating your SkyQ box as part of a control system, uh, like we are here, uh, for instance, ours is part of a Control 4 system um, and uh, is using a Neo remote control. Um, basically, it's best majority of the time if you set your SkyQ box to a, what we call a static IP. Now, static IP will allow your control system to always talk to your Control 4 system uh, or other control system using its IP address. Um, you'll notice that this is not working because the box won't come on or you won't be able to change channel when you're pressing your channel numbers on your remote control. Um, we can get around this by doing what we call a DHCP reservation um, in your router. This means that every time your Skybox asks your router for an IP address, it gives it the same address. Um, this is relatively simple to do, but some routers won't let you do it, especially some ISP routers. And if your networking skills are uh, you know, um, not up to scratch or you're not understanding networking, um, setting your uh, DHCP reservation can be quite daunting. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you briefly and simply how to set a static IP on your uh, SkyQ box. Now, most good installers will leave you the IP addresses of all your equipment uh, when they've done your system for you. Um, so you should have this written down somewhere. If not, give them a ring and they should be able to give you the IP address of the box that was set for the control system to control. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn you around and you can see here that the TV is on. As I say, we're using a uh, Sky, um, uh, Sky Control box on the Neo remote control. Uh, from Control 4. So what we're going to do is I'm going to press the guide button and this brings up the menus uh, like you would if you press the guide button on your SkyQ remote control. So now on the left hand side here if we go down to um, if we go down to our settings right down the very bottom here oh uh, a bit too far okay so once we're on our settings if we click OK and then click OK again. Now you'll see we're highlighting the satellite signal section. If you come down here to network connections and go right to network setup and click that button in the middle, uh, then basically you can see here that our network status is shown connected and it shows all the relevant good information. If we come down here to our advanced settings and click the middle button, you'll see the, our IP address settings. Now, as you can see here, uh, I'm already set on a manual IP address or a static IP address. So if I wanted to change this, what I can do is come across here to edit. Now, if you are using DHCP in this scenario and you want to keep the same IP address that's in there, by doing this, this will automatically set a DHCP to a static. So for instance, what we're going to do now is press edit. Now we're going to come across here and then using the number buttons on the remote control, we're going to change the number here, for instance. So I'm going to click 88. Um, now I'm going to go back up and change that back to 89. Otherwise, when we come out of this, uh, nothing's going to work. Um, so basically by changing these numbers, this one mainly up here to what your installer gave you or what your IP address uh, you want for your control system is, um, this will set it to a static IP. Subnet mask normally always is this, and then your router is your IP address of your router, and then what a DNS server you're using. Um, come down here to confirm and click on confirm, and then basically you'll see there now that the IP address is still set on manual, still the same IP address, and I have full control over it. Um, if at this point you didn't have control over it and your control system wasn't working, then that's probably because um, there's a different IP address in your control system to what you've just put in your SkyQ box. So follow those steps, um, change the IP address. If you're doing your own control system, go into your control system and change the IP address in there as well. But I said if it's the control system has been installed by an uh, installer, they should have left you the IP address. Or just give them a bell and they'll be able to give you the address. And if you follow these settings, that's how you set your Skype. IQ box for a static IP. Hope you found this useful. Um, please check out our YouTube page for more useful videos. Uh, we'll be adding more over time and some uh, videos of our projects and time lapse videos of our jobs we're doing. So I hope you're well and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.